Hi, my name's Paul Lamberton. I'm the Dean of the College of Engineering and Technology at Grand Canyon University. Did you ever wanna know how things work? We can help you understand all of the aspects that surround the ecosystem of engineering and technology. But why are we different? We focus in on our Christian worldview. Did you know that character matters? It does, it matters all the time. Character in engineering, character in technology, these are really important pieces that make a whole engineer, a whole technologist valuable out into the real world. Come join us, let us teach you a few things. Welcome to the college. Welcome to our Aeronautical Engineering Lab. One of the things that you see here is our Flowtech 1440, and this is basically a research grade wind tunnel. How does it work? Well, the first thing is you've got your ambient air that goes through this structure right here. This structure is what makes all that ambient air laminar. Laminar matters. You have to have constant equal stream flow going through the wind tunnel so that you can get your test subject to do what it needs to do. So as we move through, the laminar air gets compressed. It then enters the test cell. This test cell is a 36 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch test cell. We test all sorts of shapes, whether it's a wing, whether it's a car, whether it's a building. They're all things that interact with aerodynamic forces. And this gives us a way to model those interactions. So once again, one of the great tools that we have in our College of Engineering and Technology to help you find your purpose. As a GCU engineering student, I definitely found my place here at the GCU engineering shops. I loved it so much, I started working here. It offers a bunch of different tools and variety of things that you can learn. The hands-on learning was big for me just because in my major, I didn't get a lot of the things that were offered in the shops in class. So being able to come down here day one and learn those specific activities and get that skill set was super beneficial for me. Although I'm in school most of the time, I'm also getting guidance of where I can go after these classes are over and how to kind of push through life with these skills that I've gained through GCU. This room is our hot shop. We've got three different welding machines here. We've got two welding tables, so you can have different spaces to work on. Over here in the corner of our hot shop, we have our plasma cutting table. So as you can see, we've got a big bed that we can throw sheet metal onto. This is where you'll insert your file of your cut. So any design that you wanna cut out, Easiest examples I like to give are family ranch names on a big old piece of metal that hangs above the entryway into the ranch. You can take that name, throw it into the podium, and then as soon as you hit go, it'll send a bolt of plasma through the actual piece and travel along that arc and cut out your piece perfectly for you. Now in the other corner of our hot shop, we have our plastic injection molding machine. What this is essentially doing is it's taking two halves of a mold, pushing them together, pumping molten plastic into it, cooling it down in that shape, popping it open, and popping the part out. After it's done, it'll pop down onto a conveyor belt where you can just collect them all, so it's an automated process that you can just pump out a bunch of products with. So this is the Power Lab. This is where students learn how power actually works in the real world. So in this lab, we have everything from power generation like solar panels to transformers and power lines, as well as load cells that can replicate the resistance of a motor or a house or even a whole section of the power grid, depending on how you hook them up. It's just a really good way to learn about how power looks from a large power grid perspective. This is our power transmission station used for our power transmission lab. So basically what this is, is it's just a simulation that's far more hands-on than just press and go on a computer. The transmission lines are immensely important for feeding an entire city and it adds up and the resistances add up and you have to be able to simulate and tell where the lines meet and intertwine because it will allow for different resistances, different voltage drops, power distribution and things like that. It's very important for power systems and power companies to make sure that the loads of the houses and the, the industry that they are providing for are balanced, otherwise they don't get the right kind of power. That's what this lab is meant to teach us. So this room is the main engineering shops here at Grand Canyon University. This is where a lot of the capstone students finalize their projects and a lot of cool projects start and end. In my opinion, the best part about this room is obviously the machine behind me. It's a fully automatic CNC mill. So basically, you either take your part you make in SolidWorks or Fusion 360, and then you can make a CAM program based off of your model, and you give it all the tools in the computer, and then you basically upload it into the little MDI here, and then you can just run a program, and it will make a part. Precision-wise, this thing can get in to at least a thousandth of an inch, 
When I was in my undergrad, every class I had was always super hands-on, especially in my junior or senior level classes. We were always doing projects. The teachers were always super great, super helpful, super friendly. Some of my favorite teachers were great guys that are really now mentors in my life. The engineering shops are open to every student here at GCU, whether you're an engineering student or a business student or a fine arts student. Any student can come down here, play with the machines, learn stuff, and that includes freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, all the above. I'm from Switzerland. I'm an international student here. I learned carpentry by trade before I came here. I married an American who got a job at GCU, and so we moved here to Arizona, and that was the opportunity for me to study. So this is the wood shop. It's basically used for any preparation of wood. We have different wood machines, bigger ones and smaller ones. This is our table saw. This one, you can cut bigger pieces of wood. We have an included table router. You can round the edges or make them look pretty and we have a shop bot. It's a CNC basically that does different preparations on a wood. You have to program it on the computer. You put in your wood piece and it does its job. We have a sandblaster that's pretty cool too. You can take off any surface that you want from any wood or metal and make it smoother. This class is a design of experiments class aka prototyping class, aka zombie lab. It's a chance for students to basically get a look at what capstone's gonna be like for their senior year, but right now they're all sophomores. It's the first dry run. I've never used a laser cutter. I've never used a 3D printer. I don't even know how to start a project. So it's a little bit of project management, a little bit of business, lots of hands-on. We're doing quality analysis on board games that we're designing ourselves and we're also doing laser cutting of the actual box of the game so we get to decide what aspects and specs that we want from each game and then we can incorporate that into our own design. At GCU, we get a lot of free equipment that we get to use that's part of our tuition. So there's laser engravers, there's 3D printers, there's bioprinters, literally everything you need. LaBelle Labs at GCU is all about student learning. We do research sponsored projects with grants we have grants for scholarships, but we also do a lot of just projects with students. The blacksmithing club we have here. We also have the Grand Canyon Aerospace Club. The Bell Labs is kind of like the place to come and get those extracurricular activities and skills learned. The Aerospace Club has people from the business school, CAM. We also have engineers in it. Anyone can join these clubs. It's a chance to see all the stuff we can do here and have fun learning something new. SWE is a international organization and we at GCU have our own little section. We work really hard on your hard skills and your soft skills. So that can look like resume buildings, elevator pitch workshops, as well as welding, woodworking, laser engraving, you name it. Today is a very fun workshop that we get to do. We are building derby cars for GCU's homecoming. It's usually like nine or 10 derby cars. This is like our giant construction day, building all of them routing the edges, gluing all the pieces together, screwing them all in, putting in like the bearings and the wheels and everything. The engineering professors are here for you as well. They've helped me a lot and they make me feel comfortable if I maybe don't get it. All of our engineering professors really do care about your well-being. Having all these opportunities to join clubs and be in the workshops and all of the hands-on labs that we have in the engineering department, it really just solidified what I wanted to do. How I like to serve others is to push them outside of their comfort zone to be able to grow as a person, you know, do things that you never thought you'd be able to do. And we've got all of these different engineering clubs like SWE, Canyon Motorsports, IEEE, Robotics, so, so much more. Their whole focus is getting people in the shops, getting them to learn new things. I feel very honored to be at a school where there's so many awesome hands-on opportunities. This is the Blacksmithing Club. Tonight we're doing an open forge, so it's open to anyone on campus. They can come in, experience blacksmithing for the first time, try their hand in it, mess around. So LaBelle Labs is great for getting students engaged in things that you don't necessarily think of when you think of engineering, such as casting and blacksmithing, board game design, stuff like that. Blacksmithing specifically has a weird application to engineering. You do learn a lot of functional materials. In class, we learn about material science and you know what is hardening, how to harden, but here you get practical experience. 
What is the difference between a hardened tool and a non-hardened tool? I love GCU for a lot of reasons. I really like that when I came here, I was not just a number. Here at GCU, it's a little more personal. I know my professors, they know me, and I get a lot more unique experiences like running a blacksmithing club and starting stuff like this that I wouldn't have at a bigger university. Two days before I moved into campus, I started working in the shops, learning how to weld, learning how to machine, and that's been influential in my career without a doubt. When I go to interviews and they say, oh, you, you say you have experience on these tools, what does that mean? It's like, oh, I've ran this machine. I've done projects. Here are the projects I've done in class and outside of class. They're blown away every time. GCU is great at getting you plugged in and affording you the opportunities that are there if you want to take them. I was able to find my church family here, get connected with church, and find people that are of like-minded, even in the engineering field, where it can be pretty secular overall. So it's great to have that facility given. I found my purpose through engineering and through the opportunities I was afforded in learning hands-on stuff such as blacksmithing, getting exposed to things that I wouldn't have been exposed to had I not come to JCU. I'm the vice president of Canyon Aerospace here at GCU Grand Canyon University. And Right now we're working on a flight simulator, so we got an actual Cessna airframe donated to us. And what we're trying to do with that is that we're not trying to make it fully legal, like an FDA approved flight simulator, but we're also not trying to make it a full video game. We're trying to meet that somewhere in the middle, so that way it could be fun, but also realistic. I grew up in a farm. I was did a lot of farming work. My family has tractors, and so I've always been doing hands-on work. It's very different than what we do in the classroom. It's more hands-on and I'm actually doing some mechanic work here in manufacturing. This has helped me out a lot. I've talked to a few Fortune 500 companies, I've done interviews with them, and every single time it has come up and other clubs that I'm a member of as well. So it definitely helps that I'm able to get some experience here. My whole experience at GCU has been great. I got a great group of friends. I got a great group of engineering guys that I'm also friends with. The professors are great too. I've had some great relationships with my professors. I got office hours and I've gotten to know them pretty well. The school can be a lot as an engineer, but I feel like with the things that GCU offers with the clubs and everything else, it's, it's great. Here at GCU, students get access to this room immediately, freshman year. They can come in at any time and learn how to use it one-on-one, -on -one. but a lot of what we get in here is class-based. So we get a ton of different designs. One of the main reasons that this room is so popular is for our capstone students. Those are our seniors who they have their final projects that they're designing, they're creating something brand new that's never been made before. And so they utilize all of these printers for mostly iteration. Our plastic printers, they start with a design and then they work through it step by step. Maybe a hole is a different size and they need to change it, so they reprint, test it, and then they can print some of their final things on our better printers. These are our PCB mills. These are for our electrical engineers. What they do is they mill out custom circuit boards. So students in their upper level electrical classes will be able to design a circuit board and then come down here and cut it out and have it in 30 seconds rather than shipping it to an outside manufacturer and having it two weeks or a month later. I actually graduated from GCU in 2021. I went through the biomedical program and I loved every single second of it. But truthfully, I was happy to come back to work here and just to be in this environment. It's a pretty unique university experience and the campus vibe is different. The people, the faculty are different. They care. They spend a lot of time working with you. It's just a great place to be. Capstone is your final engineering project as an engineering student at GCU and you work on it all year long. You can either have the idea come to you from the school or you can propose it yourself or a company can propose it as well. Our project was proposed by a company, so we're working on a company project. When you first start out in a capstone, there's a lot of planning involved, so you have to make a timeline of what your deliverables are and milestones, what tasks need to be done and who can get them done since it is a team project. So our project is a two-part project. We have to make a battery management system and a brushless motor control system for a company called Benchmark Electronics. It's for their robot called the BenchBot, which will be used in their manufacturing facilities. 
The goal of the project is to make PCBs or print circuit boards for each of those systems that will effectively work. Recently, it's been a lot of hands-on classes, especially as a junior or senior, and those have been really rewarding, getting to see how different components interact and building different systems together, as well as the different opportunities that are offered here at GCU, such as the engineering shops. I'm a student worker at the shops. Getting to see different capstone projects come in and helping students with their personal projects has been super rewarding, as well as working with some of the engineering clubs that we have on campus, such as the Formula SAE Club. GCU has helped me find my purpose by building like a close-knit and tight-knit community with both my peers and my professors. We've all built like a really unique relationship, more of a like mentorship, and that has helped me as an engineer know what I want to do and figure out how to be a better engineer as well. Being a woman engineer here at GCU, I always feel welcome and it's really, really awesome. Just being surrounded by people who love Jesus, who love the Lord, it's incredible. I learned so much that is going to benefit me in my career in the future. Although I'm in school most of the time, I'm also getting guidance of where I can go after these classes are over and how to kind of push through life with these skills that I've gained through GCU. Finding my purpose here at GCU not only comes from all the classes and the friends that I've made here, but all the resources that GCU provides. Just kind of becoming myself and this environment is where I find GCU helping me find my purpose.